Uh, welcome everybody to another episode of Bricks and Dragons. We're here with Richard and he's the CEO of the World is Rich Productions. Uh, welcome to the show. And can, can we start off by, can you tell us a little bit about um, what is it you do and, and who's the customer that you serve? Yeah, yeah. Uh, first, uh, first of all, thanks, Jason, for having me on. I was super, super excited to uh, connect and share a little bit more info about, you know, the business and the journey and uh, what we do and who we serve and everything like that. But um, yeah, in terms of, um, you know, what we do, we're a production company. So we uh, pretty much now uh, we offer uh, different forms of media to both people and to businesses. So um, at first we started, you know, very small, you know, with just, you know, photography for like backyard events and now we've grown to to doing a lot of stuff for um, for corporate and um, it's it's been a lot of you know mostly now videography and live streaming for businesses. Um, and essentially, yeah, the the reason I decided to become a business owner was that um, I initially started you know this as a hobby and it was just kind of something that I was just doing on the weekends to just kind of earn some you know pocket money here and there. And uh, things just kind of kept growing, and I just noticed that there was a demand for it and um, yeah, although it was scary, I just decided like, hey, I have to go like all in uh, and and really give this a shot. Um, so I wanted to start small here. Um, and that's that's really, you know, where where my base was and where kind of like the main mission of of the business was, which was to finally, you know, create forms of media that would give, uh, you know, people here like a, a very accurate narrative. It's cool because that was kind of the main mission and it's grown to so much more than than just that where. Uh, we're doing that now for businesses with with the same you know mission where you know we approach every client and we you know we want to give them the opportunity to tell their story uh, in a format that looks both professional, um, it's really appealing to people, and just kind of something that will bring value to their business, but also show other people the value of their business as well. Yeah, um, I, I remember. Um, I remember at because uh, because R- R- Richard and I worked together. And when you made a you made a video for for uh, our company, yeah, uh, yeah, why yeah. I work there. And yeah. uh, when I saw it, it blew me away. Like, uh, and I was like, "Wow, you're super talented!" So to see you doing it full time, thank you, man. Yeah, uh, it's just amazing. Uh, yeah, it, that project was also super important because it showed me that like not not only could I do it, but it showed me that I actually had the passion to do it, and I actually cared about doing it. It wasn't just something where. It was a phase. So I think that that leads like really well into this next question, which is um, the ability to kind of take that leap. Is is that innate or can you learn it? The ability to kind of be comfortable with taking that risk or uh, being in that environment, especially uh, where, you know, cash flows aren't predictable and some some months are good and some months are down. Like, is that something that's learned or kind of like you're born with it? Yeah, I I do think it's something that is possible like for for anybody. Um and I think that it really just boils down to like how passionate are you about this this project? And I mean, there's always going to be like circumstances, right? Like everybody has different backgrounds, different financial circumstances, you know, um and and different ways of doing what they do and different risks that they're willing to take. Um but I always you know, I found, you know, based on my experience when I jumped in and started, you know, uh, doing this, you know, devoting myself to my company full time and really doing this business full time. Um, I didn't know what I was doing at all in the beginning. And I just had to just learn, you know, I I really just had to also think that it is something that like, once you find that one thing that you say like, Hey, like, this is what I want to do. I'm going to go all in. I know the risks. I know, I don't know when my next paycheck is, but all I know is that there is a demand for this there's value that I have to offer. And while things might be a little bit slow at first, um, I have faith that it's gonna pay off in the long run. And you know, you you you, you learn literally every single day. Like, you know, we, yeah. we've been, you know, full-time now for a little bit over two and a half years, close to getting now to three years. And um, just the, the, the amount of stuff that's just happened in these past three years that I've learned is just insane. And I know like, you know, for another three years to come, I'm gonna learn like quadruple probably of what I know now, so. Yeah. That's you one. Know. That's one thing for sure. There's no. There's no substitute for for learning. Learning. Learning on the job. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. There, 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 there's no substitute. <laughs> and then uh, here's where we we flip a coin. Where you tell us either your superpower or super weakness. Okay. And uh, we've we've been on we've been on a streak of superpower, but this one this one is weakness. So you get minus two at the end. Unfortunately, uh, there's some chances to win prizes. 
Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, so tell 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 us what's what's your super weakness? What's your blind spot that you uh, have to contend with? Yeah. So um, I guess, and, and this is like uh, just in terms of like running like the business and stuff, correct? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, it's what it's, I, I would say. I guess you something personal, whatever, whatever, whatever you feel. I, I would say, well, okay. Let, let's let's put it as I guess in the context of like. Uh, I guess business and life in general. I would say one thing that I've learned in terms of being a business owner is that I really struggle with like relinquishing control, like especially when it comes to creative work. Um, so I'm learning a little bit more and more uh, how to actually like delegate more and kind of trust other people and say like, hey, you know what? Yeah, like, yes, this person can handle this. And even if they make a mistake, it's okay. Like we can work together and like figure it out and get it right the next time. Yeah. Um, and I, I feel and like- Giving like, them opportunities to grow. And, and, and giving opportunities to grow, right? And I, I, like I said, I feel like, you know, when I first began, as with, with, with a lot of people who do this, you know, sometimes, you know, all, all we have is ourself when we first start, you know what I mean? And it's like, you're so used to doing everything on your own. Um, and, and like I said, with with, uh, with especially when it comes to creative work, it's it's so easy to get bogged down by all that stuff. And, you know, especially when you have a process and you keep doing that in the beginning and it's only you. And now, you know, uh, trying to take other people's opinions into account and trying to understand, OK, they're they're um, where they're at in terms of technical knowledge and also giving them that chance to grow so that they also feel like they're learning and they're included in that. Yes, like they are bringing value to the company. Yeah. So I think definitely I being a, a control freak overlord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, that, that that's 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 a pretty common one, especially at <laughs> uh I was reading. Um, it was either Mark Cuban or, or Ray Dalio, uh, maybe it was someone else, but they said that the question that they ask in meetings is, what do you need me to step into or step out of? Um, and so that's something that, that I, I also have tried to internalize and I can do a better job at. Um, and then uh, uh, the next question is, uh, so, you, so you mentioned that you're growing, you've been doing this two and a half years. Mm. What, how do you know when it's the right time to either bring on that additional person or buy another camera uh, when's the right time to grow? Yeah, so that is such a great question. And I feel that applies to, to any business that, that you do, you know, um, that just requires uh, investing capital and turning it into, you know, forms of equipment or, or team members or subscriptions, really anything. Um, but I would say for me, uh, the right time to grow was when I realized that I was just getting a lot of inquiries and I, I knew I couldn't be in two places at once. Um, and like I said, especially with uh, creative work when it comes to filming and filming for companies, you know, if, if someone wants to book us on a Monday at 2 p.m., it's like it's so hard for me to be in, in two different places. And especially I always have to hop around the city, too, which is. Yeah, some, some yeah, yeah. Time. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you, you try to do little things like, OK, we'll schedule it from this time to this time. But sometimes, you know, people are only available at a certain time. So uh, I realized like, hey, uh, this is definitely something I can't do on my own. Um, I need to be able to scale up and I need to be able to be in multiple places, um, you know, and because if I don't do that, you know, we're, we're really just leaving money on, on the table and there's just that we just won't be able to grow. You know, we're, we're kind of just going to be at a, at a peak that we won't be able to overcome because it's just X amount of, of bookings or gigs that you can take just based on based really on me and my time yeah. and my schedule. Well, that's, um, that's, yeah, that's a, that's a great way to think about it. <laughs> yeah as like a personal thing for yourself, like, you know, when you, as you grow and you want to set boundaries between work and family and that kind of stuff, you know, you realize like your schedules, other things other than business. That's my, that's my super weakness, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I think, I think that's a tough one for, for, for a lot of people, man. But, uh, and you know, now, you know, three years later, I'm, I'm just kind of looking ahead a little bit and I'm like, you know what? No, like it's important to set aside time, you know, for other people, for family and for this and that. Um, and again, you know, that also comes with, okay, now I need to scale up. I need, I need to have other people that I could train and, you know, invest in and pay to, 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 uh, also be able to be extensions, you know, of the company offer their value and that kind of stuff. And, and, and I think especially with YouTube, right. It's like, you know, so many of us, we learn so much of what we know off, off YouTube now and seeing so many product reviews and this and that, and always trying to find ways to make work more convenient and, and much more easy. Um, you know, it's very easy to get bogged down, um, which, which is pretty cool. Um, but, uh, I, I would say, you know, the best thing to really do, which I, I wish I listened to the advice and I told myself this when I first started, but the best thing to really do is to really just learn the fundamentals, you know, like really just to learn about just good lighting, you know, uh, always face a window. If you're, if you're trying to film, film somebody, never have your back to the window. Cause then they're going to be in a shadow or, 
uh, you know, just just learn basic things about composition and just how to make things look aesthetically pleasing. And you don't even need a fancy camera to do that. You could do that all on an iPhone, you know, but it just doesn't sound cool to do that. Right? It sounds cool to have the coolest and latest camera that has like all these features. But, you know, when you when you tell people, hey, like, take your phone and learn lighting and watch these boring videos, uh, it, it's not something that is super exciting, you know, um, and, you know, and again, like given given the, the side that yeah, we live in, you I know, th I think that's good advice to stay on the fundamentals. We, we kind of blend yeah, yeah, yeah. the second question. Uh, yeah. So, 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 so see, now now uh, we're at the part of our journey where we meet. Yeah. The third. We're going to give advice to to our to our younger self in one category. <laughs> uh, so you got a five. Okay. Which is uh, obtaining funding. So, oh, that's uh, a good one. Patient. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what what advice would you have given yourself when it comes to how you raise money for your business? And uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's 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 an amazing question, and um, it's a little tough, I would say, when it comes to like creative work, because it's it's not something really in a sense where when you're like a freelance videographer, especially or a freelance uh, small production company, the ways of raising capital are, are just, you know, they're just not the same as I would say, as other companies that can kind of maybe get like, you know, like angel investors or or, or a stock and that kind of stuff. Uh, I found that, you know, even with, with other creators, you know, who are huge now, you know, like the Peter McKinnons and the Sam Colders and those kind of guys, um, you know, all of us started in the same place. It was, we essentially just kind of put money aside um, from working self, another self job. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, and just really self-funding, really self-funding. And I mean, uh, you know, if you're, if you're lucky and, you know, and you're able to kind of get help, you know, and you're starting young, um, you know, if you have a good family structure and stuff like they might be able to get help from family and friends to kind of do that. And I think, you know, what you're doing is really great. Cause I think this, it's a huge opportunity for, for young creatives to really, you know, who don't have that source of capital to really, you know, start and get, get on that journey to maybe getting their first camera. But I would say, uh, long story short, in terms of advice that I would give to myself for funding is, um, yeah, don't worry about having the latest and the greatest and the most expensive gear at the time. Uh, really figure out what it is that you want to do and what market you're trying to target and stylistically what you want to create. And then once you have all that sorted out, really choose the gear that is the best tool for that. So really trying to figure out what it is that you're going to do and choose something that's kind of future proof as well. Um, you know, maybe, maybe that piece of gear might not take the best photos, but it can still take pretty solid photos. You know, don't worry about getting, you know, something that's one camera that's just for photos and one camera just for it. Just work with what you have and yeah. build it and build it and build it. And then when go, you reach go, go to point, war with the knife you have. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so this is, uh, so, so, so we're at the end where, where you encounter the dragon, we roll a 20 sided die, you get minus two from before and you tell me when to stop and we'll figure out what number you get here. Okay. All right. All right. And stop. All right. So you're at, uh, what's that? Nine. Uh, so you win $25. You escape the dragon and, uh, <laughs> we're going to PayPal that to you. You can invest in any other small business owner on, on the, my venture platform. Uh, awesome. and then, um, you know, what, what you're doing is super awesome. Tell, take, take, take some time and how do people find you if they're looking to book you for a corporate event or a personal event? uh what kind of territory are you in tell tell people a little bit more about that yeah absolutely absolutely so um essentially uh social media instagram is that the world is rich um we're also on vimeo on youtube uh the world is rich um and then uh, also website the world is rich.com email the world is rich at gmail.com so uh all very consistent across um and yeah we're we're totally available for photo needs video needs live streaming needs uh, motion graphics. So whether that be advertisements, you know, company culture, weddings, like all that awesome stuff, um, you know, you can reach out to us for any of that and we'll be more than glad to accommodate. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Well, thanks everyone for, who uh, was able to join us and we'll see everyone next time on Bricks and Dragons. Awesome. Awesome.